what's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to two more episodes of hunter hunter episodes 58 59 last time on hunter hunter gone and Killua and Kuripika. Okay, so they the boys got away. That one girl who I can't remember her name. She's um the, the human lie detector. She can like uh, access your memories by touching you. She they try to isolate her and take her out. I don't know if they're trying to kill her or not. Probably because she's a troop member. Kuripika does want to kill her, so maybe he's gonna kill her this episode. Um, I feel like that's where we left off. Like they were outsmarting the troop essentially i remember he had that funny thing where kurpika hung up on that one guy who dresses up like a mummy sometimes or whatever so yeah okay that's pretty much where we left off last time so um we'll have to see how this goes um i think kurpika will be fine as long as the rest of them don't try to follow them because if they follow what krolo said and just abandon him they should be fine like they they won't succumb to the prophecy won't come true pretty much uh but if they do choose to follow her i think they or mm, or no i'm lying i'm i'm mixing it up if they do what he's saying and don't follow her i think they're going to fulfill the prophecy because he's just going to pick them off one at a time because he's already kind of implied he can't handle more than one yeah this is what this is right okay but if they do choose to follow her I think that they'll they'll be fine because he can't take on all of them at once so he'll probably end up dying and cool but so if you keep following what Kurapika says you're just going to kind of you're just like digging your own grave also this I, you know how last time I was confused on why Kurapika I don't know if you remember this but I was confused on why Hisaka would be helping Kuripika, but I think I know because he wants Krolo, right? He just wants to kill Krolo. The other people are kind of in his way. He just needs to get Krolo alone so he can kill him, right? He kind of knows his limits, obviously. Can't take on all of them. So by having Kuripika pick them all off, it's kind of like you're doing his dirty work for him, or you're making his job easier for him, at least. So anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch it on my Patreon. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. I'm so happy this arc's over, though. I'm, I'm excited to get um get into the next thing, the Greed Island thing, because we just talked about this today. I said, dude, when's the next arc gonna happen? Like, how many episodes do I gotta wait, please? And he goes, I don't know, but I think the next one's the Greed Island thing. Um... I'm like, okay, well, I wonder when that's gonna happen. I'm really hoping they wrap this Phantom Troop arc up, which they did, thank God, this episode. It's nice. They don't want him to kill. What? I feel like they'll come back, maybe. But maybe, I'm hoping not, because I have no interest in it. I'm over it. I'm done. Been there, done that type of thing. We don't need to go back to it. So, you can tell me in the comments if you want. I don't mind. That's a minor spoiler, like. Or if you, if you don't want to tell me in the comments, because maybe other people are watching this for the first time. Just send me a private message on Patreon. You can't really do that for YouTube. But um, just send me a private message. Or if it's YouTube, put like, you know how you do that spoiler alert. Bunch of spaces, like, enter on try like a million times. And then, yeah, you do that. Um, dog hair is like flying around. Um, but yeah, I'm happy we're moving on. Um, I'm proud. Like, uh, I just, I don't know. The boys really surprised me by saying, I don't want my friend to kill because i was talking about that with my brother i'm like does gon even care that people kill like does it bother him i don't know i mean where does gon draw the line i just don't know and i think my brother he said he's like he he's like it depends on the situation i'm like yeah i kind of get that vibe like, it, it depends what the circumstances are and why you're doing it like with kurapika it's for revenge so of course like gon cleared that up he doesn't he prefers him not to kill, but if it's, like, what he needs for closure or whatever to move on, he'll help him with that. But, of course, like they told Pakunoda, we don't want him to kill. Of course, we don't want him to. So, that was kind of nice to see, especially coming from Killua, who was an assassin, born, well, raised to be an assassin. It's kind of nice to see him 
he went from which is something else we talked about he went from being like killing is his 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 first initial instinct or rea like a knee-jerk reaction to things is his first um uh solution to things and now it's kind of become a last resort so he like he really flipped things and i like that because um we know he never really wanted to be a killer of course right so i'm glad to see that he's kind of he's really making he's he's um what am i trying to say he's a. Uh, He's coming into like his own. He's he's figuring out and discovering who he is and wants to be, and he's making it happen step by step. So I'm actually uh really really proud of him. I think it's super sweet, and I just love seeing how far that they're all willing to go for each other and how they just really genuinely want the best for all of them. Um. Um. Anyway, so, what am I saying? Um, what else happened in this episode? Um, I wanted to see Heatsuka fight Krolo. Kind of disappointed we didn't see that, but honestly, I'm okay with it because I think I'd rather not see them fight so we can just move on. Like, it would have been cool, I guess, but honestly, I'd be more interested to see him fight Gon. And I'm surprised we didn't see Illumi because I thought they were, like, calling him here but I guess not now doesn't matter because they all have to kind of go they're all going their separate ways so I guess at the auction the boys are gonna finally get their hands on the game they should have enough money now uh, I hope well is if um that one auctioner the pr pr or, um I wasn't what was his name what was his profession um a appraiser I think he's an appraiser yeah a professional appraiser hopefully he was able to come uh, I think he was supposed to find items and sell them for more money, right? Like flipping houses. So, yeah. Or what do they call that? It's like, um... I forgot. That's a... Uh, people do stuff like that. It's like, you buy something and, and sell it for more, but I feel like that's um, like that's an actual method. But I don't know what the name of it is. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this episode, so let me shut up. Okay, if it's YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.